today I want to share another tool with you and a cool one it's a very simple one but it's amazing the benefits that it can have truly truly incredible and it's hard to believe at first because it's something so simple but so with all the tools that I've given you we're building an incredible foundation it's becoming easier to kind of go deeper right we're peeling some of the layers overcoming some of the resistance that comes up all the time of course as with any kind of journey and you remember that I made you do some sticky notes and put them around the house and all over the place right we're building a great foundation then you're complimenting yourself and you're telling yourself all, all these great things about you and what you've accomplished and who you are and the beautiful things about you your personality everything about you right In a way, it's like every every tool that I give you is kind of like getting you ready for the next one and ready for the next one and ready for another one and ready to go deeper and deeper and peel more layers and just go to the core. And what I want to offer to you today, it sounds simple, it sounds silly, it sounds like, is that it? Like, <laughs> what more can I do? What else can I add to it? But you don't need to add anything to it. What I want to invite you to do today is get your sticky notes, hopefully you still have some left, or maybe you went crazy with the last tool that I gave you. And all you're going to write on these notes, to put all over the house, the mirrors, the fridge, your bedroom, everywhere, Is you're gonna write a simple message that there's no limit on how deep this can go from all the incredible teachers I've learned all the beautiful people that have supported me on my, my journey and from my experience there's no limit to how deep this can go And it's gonna sound silly and simple and dumb and useless, but what you're gonna write is three simple words that have a huge impact. You'll just write, I love you. You can add a smiley face, you can add a heart. I love you. The reason is that by now, like I've told you, we've opened up a lot more. We're ready to receive more love. We're re ready to give more love. We're re ready to go deeper. We peeled some of the layers. We're opening up to this whole experience a lot more. And the words, I love you, go deeper and they, they encompass everything that we've been doing. By saying I love you, you're saying I love everything about you the positive and negative I use quotes because they're all relative to how we look at them I love what I like about you and I love what I didn't like about you in the past I love your personality I love everything about you even the things that I'm trying to change I love them because they've made me who I am today they're a part of me they're a part of this whole being that I am. By saying I love you, you're going deeper than you could have imagined. And the more you say it, you might de develop some resistance to it. There's gonna be a part of you that is gonna be like, okay, that's enough, that's enough. I get it, you love me, <laughs> just cut this shit out, that's enough. I don't want any more. And you can love that part of you. And then the part of you comes up that feels silly and dumb and stupid for doing all these things. I don't need to do all that. That's just some BS techniques that people use. And then you can love that part of you. And then another part of you comes up that feels embarrassed to be doing all this. What if people found out that I'm doing all these silly little tools that this crazy guy is giving me? And you can love that part of you.
and something happened this morning that you're a little embarrassed about or something happened last week that you regret doing and I love you still love you even though there's a part of me that wish I didn't do that or wish that <laughs> whatever comes up for you I love you I love you There's no limit to how deep you can go. There's no limit to how deep love can go. Everyone talks about unconditional love. I feel like that's one of the hardest things for human beings to, to get to. And it's not even a destination, but it's like, it's something that that goes so deep and so far beyond our understanding and what we are used to, right? So with these tools and things, it's like we're going in that direction, not hoping to get into a destination right away, but just enjoying the journey of maybe getting closer to unconditional love and experiencing what that feels like. By making these notes and having them all around the house and making them in a funny way that it brings a smile to your face. We're reversing that pattern of being hard on ourselves all the time. It's not that that's going to stop forever. That's going to keep coming back. That's part of the journey. We're human beings, right? But the more you do this, when that comes back, it's easier to love yourself. It's easy to love that part of you. Not ignoring it, not trying to push it away. Not pretending like it's not there and just put a happy face all the time and just like positive thinking and all that new age movement stuff that just trying to pretend like, <laughs> right? Not that, but just like that's a part of me. That's a part of me. If I want to love myself, I'm not going to pick Okay, to this side I'll put what I like about me, this side is what I'm going to ignore and try to push away and let go and heal and get rid of, right? Don't love 50% of you, don't love 75% of you. What if we could actually love 100% of us? That's a journey, I don't know, I don't know if we can get to that. But 90, 95, 96, I don't know. It's it's truly a beautiful journey and I believe there's no limit to how deep you can go with this what if you do seven days of like hardcore like just loving yourself not pushing it not forcing it but loving yourself in that way with the notes and everything you're doing what if you do 14 days what if you do 30 days and just see what happens All these tools that I give you is just invitations for you to explore. That's all I want you to do, explore and see it for yourself. I don't want you to believe anything I say. I don't want you, you don't need to trust me. You don't need to believe. I'm not gonna give you like research studies proving that this helps and this is true. I just want you to explore. Explore these ideas, explore yourself. Explore your own inner world. Explore your relationship with yourself. So what if you can do it in a funny way? And fun, fun and funny and fun way and just in a way that feels good to you. In a way that brings a smile to your face, in a way that fills your own cup so that everyone else around you benefits from what overflows from you you can't give what you don't have it's really hard to accept other people when we don't even accept ourselves it's really hard to love other people when we don't love ourselves so these are just tools to invite you to do that so maybe get your sticky notes write down some stuff, smiley faces, little drawings, little funny notes for yourself, put them around the house, say to yourself, look into your eyes in the mirror when you do it if you can, 
appreciate the heck out of yourself. Life is so short for us to be so hard on ourselves the whole time. Sometimes we're really hard on ourselves on things that won't even matter a month from now, a year from now, five years from now. Will it matter? Maybe not. Maybe we can enjoy the journey a little more. Maybe these ideas, these crazy ideas that I share with you can help you enjoy the journey a little more. I hope, I hope that happens. So, have fun with this. Have fun with this. Go deeper at your own pace without forcing it in a way that feels good to you. But allow yourself to go deeper. Give yourself permission to go further if you want to, if you feel called to, if you feel inspired to. So I hope that helps. A lot more coming, so stay tuned. Have an amazing day.